I love this. Whoa! Testing. Okay, Casey, you have to be. <laughs> I don't there. like this. I always stand because I'm the loudest talker. I'm the loudest talker. Wait, do you guys like come in here too? No. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, hey, Casey. I'm <laughs> no. How are we gonna? How are we gonna should start? Should we sing? Yeah, we should sing. But <clears throat> to what? You always um, come up with the intros. Shoot. I do. And also, this microphone, I don't think catches takes as much as the other microphone. Our no, other studio. Right. Okay, everyone, everyone gather around. Like everyone gather in. Yeah. I would do like a Christmas song jingle. Yeah. It's a good Christmas song jingle. Um, full send Friday. No. That's Are you trying to do jingle bells? Yeah. 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 Um, full send Friday. Full send Friday. Full send Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's do it. Okay. Should we Casey, try it? you have to sing too. Yeah. Okay. So, ready? Go. Full send Friday, full send Friday, full send Friday. Perfect. Well, I'm Annie. And I'm... <laughs> I, like, genuinely can't take this part. And I'm Emily. And, and we're, we're your, your masters, masters of send. send. <laughs> <laughs> I cringe every time. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. So, this week, we have one of my absolute favorite people as our guest. You're going to love her. Today, we have with us in the studio, in our Ka- studio, in, in our studio, yeah, Casey Thompson. The one and Hello. Only. Eventually, we'll get, like, something where we can make, push a button and clap Do you should us. do the noises like Emma Chamberlain does, like, yay! Yeah. Yay! Who's Emma Chamberlain? Oh, Don't know. Don't worry about it. Okay, Casey. <laughs> um, we're going to start by just having you introduce yourself, like, who are you, where are you from, what are you studying? Okay, my name is Casey Thompson. I am from Ballard slash North Polk, where I met Emily Knittle. Dabs. I'm studying entrepreneurship and management, because why would I get a major in something that I don't need college for? <laughs> <laughs> Atta girl. Thanks. I don't... What else? That's, just kind, okay. of it. That's okay. just kind of a good way so that people know kind of what's going on. So, if you don't think that you need college to do what you want to do... Why are you in college? I have no choice. My mother does <laughs> not give me a choice. Whipped. Okay. Whipped. Wh- yeah, nice. she's. Okay, if you had a choice, would you stay in college? I would for the social aspect, yeah. but, and like technically I don't really know what I want to do, so I'm kind of hoping I can learn from the entrepreneurship side of my major about sure. how to so go about like a double all major? that. Yeah, just and management. management's kind of a backup. Oh, okay. <laughs> so entrepreneurship. If business, business yeah. starter, college of Jardine. <laughs> so what, what do you want to? What do you want to? Really... What do you want to do? Like, okay, the dream job yeah. is flipping houses. Okay. So like, you kind of don't do any of the work, but you can get your hands dirty if you want to, and then you just bring in the money. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, Joanna. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> though. Okay, she's not original, but she's really good at what she does. Yeah. That's really cool, though. So, Casey Thompson, the newest star of HGTV, one day. Yeah. That's what your mom does. Will be, you know, Emily. My family does it. Yeah. But they don't do it, like, full time. They. But you know how well it works if you do it right. Oh, yeah. You okay. can make really good money. And yeah. It's kind of, like, my parents don't really care about the creative side of it, which I think is what I, like, you know, the, which, like, Joanna Gaines is kind of, like. I almost said Gramer. <laughs> I said <laughs> Gable. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's not right, but I don't know what it is. Just, I didn't notice, so whatever. That's so funny. I'm going to find my question. I have a question for so you. I get to ask you guys questions? No. Nope. You're the interviewee, idiot. I have a question for you. Okay. So, okay, well, first of all, I think I know the answer to this, but do you like to travel? Absolutely love it. Okay, that's what I think. Oh, buddy, I so love travel. So close or far, I don't care. Where is, like, one place you would want to go? Right now, I thought it was Australia, but I think mm-hmm. Greece. <gasps> yeah. I want to go to Greece so bad. I think I'm studying abroad there in the sp- summer, so you should come. Oh, I thought you said spring. I was Wait. Like, no, Casey, I was so excited. <laughs> no, this summer. That's exciting. You guys, Wait, this you guys summer? want to come? It's like a five week program, Wait, so it's when? not the whole semester. May 15th to June 19th. I no. should do it with you. I want to go. Okay. I'm kidding. I can't. I'm, I'll be graduating. I'll be literally fresh back from air. Like, I'd get back, like, the day before. Do it, Annie. <laughs> Full <Hi>. sin. <laughs> what is this podcast about? You're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Full sending. So, um, that would be, like, a spring <coughs> thing. But if, like, you could go on any trip, money, resources aren't really an issue, like, where would you go, what would you do, and who would you bring? I would go to outer space. 
<laughs> no, genuinely. I, I want to go so bad. Yeah. Can I swear in this? <laughs> <laughs> I did ask one. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay. dead ass. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would go to outer space to the, probably first the moon, because that's, that's sending it, but, like, not, that's not Mars. I would bring, <clears throat> who would I not get annoyed with? Oh, good. In, like. Disclaim, like, let us know, and why you wouldn't get annoyed with them. Oh, well, I'd 100% bring Liv, but that's because we annoy each other, but she's, like, literally my best friend in the okay. world. I would honestly, I think my motto is, like, the more the merrier, so I would probably bring as many people that could okay, fit so in this coming? ship. Give us your name. <sighs> like, who are just people that you just kind of enjoy? Well, 100% you two. No, oh, buddy. And then, like, but Everyone I don't know. Says that. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're like, who would you invite if you don't say us? You can't be on the But podcast. I consider you two, like, some of my best friends at Iowa yeah, State. Yeah, true. Same goes to you. And, like, no matter what, I know I can ask you guys if you're down, and if you're not, that's fine. So I'm down okay, I'll like case. I'll list some people that <laughs> I would like ask, but that doesn't mean that they would go. Sure, sure. Okay, so all three of my roommates, Abby, Chase, and Lauren, hundred percent Becca. <laughs> Love that girl. <laughs> I don't know who else like makes me laugh a lot because you you'd really have to like each other to be in that machine for that long. <laughs> yeah, the machine. It's more like who is. Can I bring like Dave Franco? Yeah, sure. of course. He'd probably come. I feel like I would hate having him on the trip, though. Like, I feel like I'd actually, like, I feel like he wouldn't want to be there. You and he'd, he'd be, be like, like what am I doing? Well, no, okay, well, everyone, he doesn't have to come. Everyone would want, like, if you were like, <coughs> do you want to come to the moon with me? People wouldn't be like, oh, oh, dang it. Like, I can't skip class. They'd be like, I'm going to the moon with you <laughs> yeah. regardless. Like, or they'd say no. I really need to start or, the moon Yeah, or they're fund. scared. I'm not even kidding. The moon fund. Yes, I've Let's wanted to. Let's bring Elon Musk. Because it, Yes. Okay, sorry. It, it, <laughs> we could drive a Tesla up down his face. <laughs> <laughs> we in our lifetime, we will be able to travel to the moon. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. I think it's going to be well, hella people already expensive. Can. People already can. There's yes. other things. But yes. it is hella expensive. But I just want to so badly. Like, think of... It'd be so cool. Okay, but here's I the question. I feel like I would, like, flow off into space. Yeah. And like, oh shoot, it, it die. Is almost, it's almost Casey. terrifying. Ah, okay, back. this is kind of a deep question. <laughs> okay. But like, why do you guys think that we are fascinated with outer space? Like, why do we care because about it? Because we can't comprehend it. So well, then, why does that make it something that we are almost intrigued with? Yeah. Like, well, why I, are we intrigued by the things that question. we don't know? I mean, I think because you want to find out. <laughs> I think that's super important, though. Yeah. That's a good question. I think, I think sometimes, though, people take advantage of nobody knowing anything about it. And, like, like I read an article the other day that said that some odd shape in outer space was aliens spying on Earth. I was like, okay, just because I don't know anything about outer space doesn't mean I'm going to believe you. Sure. Yeah. So I think that there's kind of a disclaimer about, like, people will take advantage of you not knowing anything about it. Hmm. It's interesting. So this is a fun fact. I'm Okay, okay I get really nerdy about... The stars, and I get really nervous about the ocean. Yeah. And it's kind of funny. I think both of them I've spent a lot of time alone with. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. Like, when we go to Florida or Hawaii, uh, my favorite thing to do is just like, okay, hey, see you guys never. I'm just going to walk on the beach. Yeah. Like, in Hawaii, I went on, like, four walks on the beach a day by myself. And that's just my time with the ocean. Like, I don't know. Yeah. And <clears throat> You've always been like I've that, I've loved just, like, laying at the st- looking at the stars. Like, whatever. I have a place I want to take <laughs> you guys that is... Oh, I cannot even put into words, like, if the sunset is right, oh, it buddy. is magical. Yeah. Where? Like, in it's, near in Iowa? It sounds like, really lame. It's in Big Creek, but it's not. That's okay. okay. No, no, no. Iowa's charming as heck. Oh, Iowa <laughs> There's, like, sunsets. a little lake, so it, like, reflects off the water. Yeah. One of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen Honestly, I am a huge supporter that Iowa has some of the best sunsets in the world. I'm, okay, I'm convinced. I think any sunset I'm is convinced just... that sunsets, like mean a lot to us when the place means a lot to us yes and so i think that Mm. there's something that's just like hmm like ah, there's something about light that's just really like captivating yeah but what i was saying about stars is if we could count one star a second um it would take us several thousand years to count all the stars in simply the milky way galaxy oh yeah meaning that we can't like we don't know the numbers of like stars and i'm like really fascinated by that then when it comes to the ocean We've only explored 5% of the ocean. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And that actually there blows is, my mind. There is, like, a level that we cannot go down to and that things can't come up past. 
just because of, like, um, pressure and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. And so there's so much mystery in both. And it, for some reason, it makes me feel safe. Me too. Really? And I don't know why. No. But it's, like, simultaneously dangerous and safe and captivating and inspiring. Like, it's just wild. Well, I, I personally am like, yeah, it's so cool that, like, there's all this ocean to be explored. Or all yeah. This sp- but I'm like... I don't. What, like, I don't need to like know. Yeah. Kind of. I would go to like space or like go to the ocean, but I'm not like. I need to find out about the depths of the ocean and the every corner of outer space. I'm like, yeah. it's unknown and. I think it would just cool. confuse me because yeah. all we see is like the same things every day, and you just kind of get used to that, and then you yeah. realize like how big everything actually is, and you're like, yeah. put into perspective how little you are, yeah, and how insignificant your life is mm-hmm. compared to like everything else that's going yeah. on. Well, and you think about, like, um, how I just lost my train of thought, <laughs> but it was a good one. Let's think if I can come back. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Dang. Brain fog. <laughs> um, Casey, are you a mountains or an ocean person? 100% ocean. Why? Oh. Uh, I think it's a lot more beautiful. Like, when I look at a place like Fiji, let's just say they have some of the most mesmerizing water like on earth and then you look at the mountains like I don't think the beauty like you can compare the two but I would just so much rather spend my time in like all the different colors in the ocean between like or like the Great Barrier Reef like all those colors the fish like Hmm. things that you go to the mountains and you have like three different shades of like green I mean that's not true but yeah yeah Mm -hmm. I would just rather have that than do you think that the Loch Ness Monster exists if God wants it to. <laughs> I want it to exist. Do you think that the Loch Ness Monster be existed amazing. and, like, the government knew about it? Do you think they'd tell us? No. Me neither. I feel like they could be, like... I am the government. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get louder. Look at it. <laughs> A little. <laughs> but, like, who would hold the secrets? Like, you know, because, like, if the, the government all knew... But I'm sure there has to be stuff that leaks so easily. I don't know. I think there's so much that the government doesn't tell us. Oh, yeah. And I'm literally okay with that. <laughs> I personally I'm okay am. with that. Okay, but speaking of government. <laughs> then we're just brainwashed. Us women making history. The, the most midterms. women that ever before elected into office in yeah. the House of Representatives. I think it's the most Senate females that have ever ran Congress. also. Yeah, well, that's why the most of all. Yeah. But still, <clears throat> incredible. So cool. And it was the biggest, like, young voter turnout. Like it ever. went up like 500%. Yeah, it was crazy. Are you raising your hand? I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, what are three things that you're excited about right now? I love asking what people are excited about. Okay, I go to Arizona next week and oh, I'm buddy. hella stoked What are you that. doing in Arizona? <clears throat> well, I know we're cliff jumping. <gasps> I'm What's going the weather like there right now? Like high 70s, low 80s. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Buddy. I have a like friend that goes to school there. Yeah, I have a friend that goes to school there so myself and two other friends are go flying down there and he's gonna like show us his town that's so fun yeah that'll be really fun okay so arizona two more i'm so excited for the holiday season (laughs) along with every other american but (laughs) oh no it's just like it's like homey it's so yes even just like being with people Mm -hmm. i i'm all about uh, 365 days of summer, I mean, of Christmas and of Christmas trees. Really? Yeah. People put them up early, and I'm like, you go. You go. Yes. <laughs> go, little buddy. I'm cheering <laughs> you on. Like, I don't know. That'll no, be you, the Christmas mom But also, someday. I kind of like, I think <clears throat> that if um they were up all year round, the novelty in the, wouldn't be there. It wouldn't mean anything. That's you know? true. So that's why I'm kind of like, yeah, once, like, November hits, boom, I'm in it. I want to get as <laughs> I'm much all as I in. can. Do you guys... Ever think about all the things that we've, like, trained ourselves to, like, we've kind of trained ourselves to be excited with Christmas decorations. Uh Like, all those, like, little things. I'm trying to think, like, even, like, notifications on cell phones. Like, they talk about the dopamine or whatever. Like, all those, like, little things. Or, like, 
You know when you hear a certain song right. that was played on the radio a lot, one of your most magical summers of your mm-hmm. life, and it or makes like you feel yes. a certain way? Or, food I or... walk home from classes smiling. Like, I look like a freak because I'm <laughs> yeah. listening to music. Right. Yeah. And right. I'm just, like, grinning ear to ear because it, re- it just it has, like, such significance. And it yeah. reminds you. It's so weird. It's kind of <gasps> scary. It's kind yes. of scary because I feel like we pick up on way more than we pick up on, if you know like, what I mean. Then you can even comprehend, like yeah. your brain is. Like I've like noticed, we don't comprehend what exactly. Yeah. 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 Like I've noticed, even in like um, cadence of speech, mm-hmm. conforming to the people that I hang out with. What do you mean? So uh, yes. Um, so like my friend Sam. Yeah. When we hung out a lot, sometimes when she talks, she'll be like, she like takes really deep breaths. Like sometimes <laughs> she'll be like, um, and I was just hanging out, and I was just like, what? And then like she kind of does, and then I caught myself doing it, or like. Like, even, like, certain words or phrases mm-hmm. that they Oh, say. I found myself doing Or, yes. like, similar facial expressions or, like, especially when things are funny, how we kind of, like, oh, they're funny, so then you start doing it. But it's, like, almost yes. subconscious. It terrifies yeah. me. It's, like, it's like almost we're, like, giving away our uniqueness consciously well, like, but subconsciously. Okay, I, I said this once. I wrote it down. It was, like, have you ever thought about that you are a... Um, Every piece like of you is a com, not a conference, but you have like conformed to every person that you've ever run, like came in contact with is who you are. So none of us have huh. ever ran into all the same people. Sure. So we're all still mm-hmm. different, but like. But it's like inception because everyone that you've ran into is also only a someone that's been run into. People. Yes, yeah. and like you've run into them, or you're yeah. a part of them somehow. Well, when you think about it, it's like I was thinking about this the other day. How do you even become unique? Like, what is unique? I read that in the Bible yesterday. Really? And I would, literally, I wrote down in Where? 1 Corinthians, like, chapter 3 or 4, it, I wrote down, nothing I've ever done is original. That was, yeah. like, it was, I don't remember what the verse was, but it I literally wanna... said, like, every thought you have, everything you ever do, you are not the first person to do it. Yeah. No. Well, and, like, oh my gosh. even when speaking specifically of, like, even, like, creating... Like, creatives, I think, are one of the most proud types of people yeah. that are like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so unique. And I can't, yeah. I can't stand it because literally everyone in this world is creative. Yes. Right. So to say that you are a creative means that you are just better than them. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. like, let's, let's get rid of that. Let's just, everyone's creative. But, like, no one can create original art because it's all influenced by something that was influenced yes. and inspired by something that was influenced and inspired by something. And then at the end, it goes straight back to Jesus, who literally created yes. the yes. whole entire... World. Yeah. I almost said like United States. <laughs> <laughs> he That's did so create bad. That United was terrible. Is that one? No, it's not oh. that chapter. I'll look it up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> wait, let me choose one more thing to be excited about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one more thing that you're excited about. Mm, to be done with school. Really? This like, semester. Oh, this semester. <laughs> this is my least favorite semester so far. Really? No. I'm thriving. No. I'm thriving, like, socially, but academically, Same. this is, like... <gasps> I'm embarrassed. I've never had this bad of grades. Really? Are your and they're hard? not even bad. Yes, they're very hard for me anyway. And like, yeah. Business my accounting 285 class, the average in the class is a 79%. And I'm like, I'm like right below that average. And I'm just like not okay with it <laughs> at all. And like, that, that's a bad average. Like such a hard. I could not do business. No, it's not, though. <laughs> There's, like, nothing more humbling than the professor writing the high score and the low score on the test and you being the low <laughs> score. Yeah. Okay, That's, I've never had that. That happened to me once last year. And what? I like, it, was, it was bad. One time in high school, I set the curve. That was a really big accomplishment. <laughs> that a girl. That was one time. That's so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's something that you nerd out about that we really, like, just like the normal person wouldn't know? Poetry. Really? I write oh. poems all the time. Really? That's amazing. Yeah. I don't even know if I knew that. I knew you wrote. I would let you read oh, them. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay. They're, okay. Oh, they're a lot less shallow now. That was like a different stage no, of life for me. Good. Those are that's, good. Yeah. Yes. That's cool. Thanks. Oh, buddy. Okay. I love that. That's cool. That's so fun. Casey, the poet. Casey, <laughs> I the like poet. that. That's My name so is cool. Casey. I am a poet. I'm yeah. just going to have a little bit of Hamilton for you. Um, Since we are in Hamilton Hall. Hamilton yes. High. Yes. The best high school ever. Um, I'm going to write a short story about Hamilton High. Do I'm it. Kidding. I'm not even kidding. Okay. There's going to be characters. I should do a promotional video for my videography. Class. I want you to publish a book like um, Milk and Honey. I'm going to. Okay. I've been in the works. Um, 
I've started to work on things in secret more. Have you ever thought about how, I was telling someone this the other day, how you can write something and, like, nobody else will ever, ever, ever know, like, how you intended it to be read, except yeah. you. Yes. That's why I it's think like being an author mind blowing. Would be so hard. Yes. Yeah. Like, emotional. Yeah. Because especially, like, when they make it into a movie type of type Yeah, of that, and you're like, already, that's not what I was I thinking. I would hate that. Because I think about, like... <coughs> When I read a book and how I like envision it in my mind, hmm. I I wonder how far off. I yes. Am. And then you know, like a movie comes out, and I'm like, what? <laughs> that is not what. And I was maybe thinking. that's what the author is yeah. not thinking, and I'm not thinking that at all. But. Or you, you know, see the movie, and then you read the book, and the book, you the only ideas yes, you can get I from it is from that. the movie because you already that. have this idea of what yeah. it should be. Book then movie always. Casey, you've always been like kind of secretly like wildly deep. <laughs> that's like something about you. Yeah. That you've always been that way. Well, thank you. You always just like say things. Like, oh, the frick! Can you, <laughs> like, you throw me off so much. I love it. Do you still sign your um, journal entries? John three sixteen. No, now it's X O X O case. Oh, cute. Okay. I, I, I stopped the John three sixteen thing. <laughs> when did you do that? Wait, okay, I want to like I wanna in middle talk school and early high school. Oh. People. Can we talk? About oh that? yeah. Okay, tell them. Okay, so a few years ago, I started writing If I Die Young letters, and it's basically just if I die before I get to tell someone something about them or, like, how I feel about them, like, my friends, my family, blah, 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 then that's for all of them to read. And, like, some people, if I've known them long enough, they have, like, more than one letter, so it's, like, updated kind Mm -hmm. of. Sure. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, how'd you think of that? I do not remember how, How long why? have you been doing it? I think, like, four years. Oh gosh. But I don't write them that often because it's mm-hmm. kind of hard to do. It's, like, kind of weird. draining. You yeah, and you, yes. State. I think that's what happened. I was just, like, laying in bed one night, and I was like, I should do this. Yeah. What if, like, what is it like when you write them? Like, how do you feel a lot? Like. Yes. It's, okay, I'm a very empathetic person, so, like, anything, like, someone tells me or, like, I feel, it's, like, very strong. So... When I do that, I just, like, try, not in a weird way, like, to channel, like, everything I feel towards that person in, like, the most loving way. Like, I would never write something negative towards them. But, like, my dad, like, I just, I cry every time because I love him so much Mm. that I cannot even put into words. Like, one page could not explain how much I want him to know. But I also don't know how to express more than one page worth of it. So. Mm -hmm. That's you guys cool. should do it, honestly. Yeah. I don't. No, it's a really interesting, like, writing prompt, even. Yeah. Okay, but interesting note to end on. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As we were running out of time, we do need to hear um, a send story of yours. Okay, I full sent to study abroad for this coming semester, and then I full unsent it, <laughs> and I'm not going But now I'm going to Greece with hopefully Lauren, and it's shorter, and it's just a better situation. So I sent it, and I unsent it, and that's okay. By canceling it, that's sending it. You think, what? Oh. I think canceling it, too, is kind of sending it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're full sending that undo. You don't want to have, like, a regret. Backspace. If I had someone to go with me, I would never unsend it, though. Yeah. Let's go to Australia. We need to put that on our friendship bucket list. Okay. So my advice for people looking to full send it i would say get someone that will never say no like literally a friend that if they do say no you know that they like still want to but they actually can't yeah. so everyone needs that person in their life and then get a full send friend yes full send a full friend. send friend and I mean, after that, you're pretty much just set. And then you get some more. Like, then you... I have, like, mm-hmm. Abby, and then I have Emily, and she will also <laughs> do anything, anytime. Full send friends make full send friends make full send friends. Yeah, yes. So true. Friends. And then you have 25 people yeah, going to Colorado same. and no housing. <laughs> yeah. Full send Friday, full bitches. Send. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so fun. Okay, well... I love you guys. This is I so fun. You. This is so like cool. a, a deep like, kind of yeah. deep conversation we had. Casey's the coolest. Casey, <laughs> Casey just brings the depth. Um, you guys so. initiated. And Anna so. didn't talk about rock climbing. This is Annie's <laughs> <What>? first podcast <laughs> where she hasn't talked about wow. rock climbing. Wow. Sorry to disappoint. 
we go? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightful, but full sense of our delightful. And if you got no place to go, send it. <laughs> Say let's go. Let's say let's, let's go. go. Say let's, let's go. go. That was good. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the full sense are delightful. So if you got no place to go, say let's go. Say let's go. Say let's go. Find a friend and let's go and let's go. Beautiful. Bye.